Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy, I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So earlier today, I came across this page on the Dokkan wiki called Different Global Slash Japan that I thought was super interesting. And basically, it shows all the characters, all the units that are somehow different between the two versions of the game, whether it's based on their stats, or they have different Dokkan Awakenings, or they Dokkan Awaken into different characters, or they have different leader skills, different passives, different rarities, and so on and so forth. And as I was going through this list, I started to realize that most of these differences, at least the ones that really matter, strongly favor, heavily favor the JP side of the game. So in today's video, I wanted to share those uh, units and those differences with you. And while I'm not trying to stir up the whole, you know, global versus JP or global shaft discussion per se, Everything that I'm presenting to you in this video is just straight up facts. Like a lot of these units are just straight up objectively better on the JP side of the game compared to global. So um, without further ado guys, let's dive in and take a look at uh, all these units. Now, before we actually get into the main topic of the video, let's actually cover a couple of units that are better on the global side compared to the JP side, just to make my global mains watching this video feel a little bit better about our side of the game. So first things first, of course, we have the Fizz Goku Black, who we all know is just straight up objectively better on global because he has that extra support for extreme class allies, and he also has better stats compared to the JP counterpart. So on JP, or on global rather, he has 18,000 max attack after Extreme Z Awakening, in addition to the extra three key support for extreme allies. Well, on JP, he does not have the support and his max attack is 16,458. So a difference of about 1,500 attack, which does make a big difference for this unit. So uh, we definitely, have that to ourselves for global. And next up, we also have the Int Super Trunks, who pre-awakening has a better leader skill on the global side of Int Types Key Plus 2 attack, or HP and attack plus 50% on JP. It's just Int Types attack plus 50%. And then after Dokkan Awakening, it's exactly the same on both sides. So we don't have that advantage anymore, but pre-awakening, this Int Trunks is straight up better on global, and uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Those are the only two units that I could find on that page that are better on global compared to JP. And now let's get to the units that are better on JP compared to global, starting with the STR Blazing Clash PyCon. Now, one major difference you'll notice immediately between the two versions is that on global, he is an STR PyCon, whereas on JP, he is an Int PyCon, and I'm not really sure why Bandai decided to do that, but obviously different typing, a pretty big difference. But on top of that, when you get into the leader skill, the global version's leader skill is STR Types Key plus 2, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%, whereas the JP version is Int Types Key plus 2, HP, Attack and Defense plus 70%, so 20% more buff to uh, his type as opposed to the global version, definitely a difference. Obviously not a huge difference, but it is better on the JP version, right? The super attack, I believe, stays exactly the same for both sides, but the passive is quite a bit better on the JP side. So for global, it's attack plus 70%, all enemies defense minus 30%, whereas the JP version gives attack plus 100% and all enemies defense minus 50%. So 30% more attack and also 20% more debuff to the enemy's defense for the JP version. And if you stop right there, don't look at anything else, then you would say objectively, yo, the, the int version, the JP version is just so much better, right? But that's actually not the full story and 
you know, thinking back, this was probably not the best unit to start this video with because uh, it's actually a bit of a toss up between which one is better. Because one major uh, component of a unit that a lot of people don't pay too much attention to or we don't pay as much attention as they should to is a unit's link set because that can make a huge difference for their viability and usability, right? And uh, I think this PyCon is actually the perfect example of that because the link set for the JP version is absolute garbage compared to the global version, right? So um, let's talk about the global one first. His link set is prepare for battle, gentlemen, experienced fighters, shocking speed, cold judgment, other world warriors, and fierce battle. So a few niche links in there, but he has prepare for battle and he also has fierce battle, two of the most common links among some of the best units in the game. And uh, it does allow him to link with a lot of units in the game, right? But the JP version has Supreme Warrior and Shattering the Limit in place of those two top tier links. And uh, overall, it's just a very, very poor link set. I mean, the only one that, the only redeeming link I can see is Shocking Speed. And uh, of course, the global version does have Shocking Speed as well. So overall, a way better link set. And the global version also has a uh, better stat overall I'd say he has more attack 12,000 or sorry 13,205 compared to 12,880 slightly less defense and slightly less wait hold on yeah slightly less defense and slightly less HP than the um, on global compared to JP but I think the attack stat is honestly the most important especially because it's not that much less defense and HP so overall I would actually still prefer to use the global version of the PyCon compared to the Int one, but I do see the argument that the Int one is still better because of the better leader skill and the better passive, and of course their super attack is the same. So uh, as I said, this one is a bit of a toss up. Let me know in the comments down below which one you guys would actually prefer to use. For me personally, man, just because of those links, I would still say the global STR PyCon is better, but that's just my opinion, right? So. Um, let's move on now to the next unit. I've spent a lot of time on PyCon, uh, but this one right here, the Fizz uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Angel Goku is definitely better. So going over the details of this unit, on Global, his leader skill is Fizz Types key plus 2, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%. On JP, it is HP, Attack and Defense plus 70%. On Global, his super attack causes immense damage while sacrificing 7% HP. On JP, it's immense damage while sacrificing 5% HP. On global, passive is key plus 3, attack plus 100% when HP is 50% or above. And here is the major difference, guys. The passive for JP is key plus 4, attack plus 120% at the start of the turn and medium chance to evade enemies attack including super attack so the global version does not have this chance to evade he has uh, one less key and also has 20% less attack and also does not have a restriction or rather the JP version doesn't have a restriction whereas the global version requires you to be above 50% HP which I know is like not that bad but um, there's still gonna be situations where you fall below 50% HP especially with this guy taking away 7% HP every single time he supers so uh, yeah that definitely is very unfortunate and it's not even like the PyCon where the JP version has like worse links right the JP version actually has the exact same links compared to the global version as far as I can tell unless I missed something oh you know what um, oh, there's one difference. Never mind. There's one difference. Okay, so the one difference is Fierce Battle. Instead of Fierce Battle, he has Shattering the Limit on JP. I think that is the only difference, though. Okay, so he does still have Prepare for Battle. Prepare for Battle is still there, just Shattering the Limit compared to Fierce Battle. So a very, very small nerf, I guess, but... Um, I think the fact that you're sacrificing less HP, you're getting 20% more attack, and also one more key without a HP restriction is uh, definitely enough to make up for the lack of Fierce Battle, in my opinion. And as far as links go, I believe, or sorry, not links, uh, stats go, I think the stats are the same as well. 
uh, yes, it looks like the stats are exactly the same. So the JP version of this card just stomps on the global version and uh, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. What I don't understand, honestly, is... So, okay, let me, let me be clear. Part of the reason why these cards are better on JP compared to global is because they actually came out on... Uh, global first and then when they came out on JP they decided to give them a buff to make them more relevant for the time right but what I don't understand is why can't you just buff the unit on global as at the same time right so that you know they're still the same on both versions like it doesn't really make sense to me it wouldn't take them that much time or that much more effort to just buff the the global one to make it in line with the JP one but instead they just decided to make the exact same unit better on JP than global and uh, I mean it is what it is nothing we can do about it so that is the Fizz Super Saiyan Angel Kaioken Goku super long name and <laughs> let's move on now to the next unit on the list which is Tech Angel Final Form Frieza. So this guy on global has a leader skill of tech types key plus two, HP, attack, and defense plus 50, or sorry, 30%. And then the JP version has HP, attack, and defense plus 50% for tech types. And then the super attack on global causes supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. And on JP, he raises attack, and this can be stacked infinitely and causes supreme damage to enemy. So no chance of stunning the enemy, but honestly, I think the mechanic on JP is way better. The ability to stack attack infinitely is way better than having a 10% chance to stun the enemy, especially considering how many um, good stunners there are out there. You don't really need this guy for his 10% chance to stun. And also considering how many bosses out there, like these days for new events, can't be stunned um the chance to stun and also like sealing and all that stuff is becoming increasingly useless right so i think the super attack definitely is better on jp versus global and then for the passive there's no comparison on global he gets attack plus 90 percent when performing a super attack on jp he gets attack plus 100% and defense plus 80 percent when performing a super attack so he goes from 90 percent attack and nothing else to 100% attack on JP and defense plus 80% as well compared to no defense boost. So uh, links are the same, categories are the same, I believe stats are also exactly the same. Yes, so uh, yeah, this unit I don't think anybody can argue is better in any way on global than the JP version and that is the third unit on the list. Next up we have the Angel Perfect Cell. And I think it's a very similar situation uh, compared to the Tech Frieza. So this guy gets AGL types key plus 2, or gives AGL types key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 30% on JP, that's 50%. And then on his super attack, he causes supreme damage and lowers defense. On JP, he stacks defense infinitely and causes supreme damage. So uh, one of those units that is really good on longer events like the Legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History and so on and so forth because he can get super, super tanky over time. And uh, his passive on global, it's attack plus 15% for every key sphere obtained. On JP, it's attack plus 15% and defense plus 5% for every key sphere obtained. So going from uh, no defense to 5% defense for every key orb obtained. Attack at least is the same. I'm surprised they didn't give him like 20% attack or something like that for every you know sphere obtained, but um, he does get a lot more defense than the global version. So uh, links once again should be uh, identical categories, identical, uh, let's see, stats are also identical, so yeah. Definitely, definitely, no question, better on JP. And moving on now, we actually have an SR unit, kind of random, I know, but <laughs> I mean, there's a big difference. So for, I mean, I, I don't know how big of a difference this is, but definitely different. So on global, um, it's int types, uh, int type enemies, attack minus 20%, same thing on JP. But then for the super attack, it's extreme damage versus supreme damage and lowers the enemy's defense. And then for the passive, it's attacked enemies attack minus 25% on JP, 
It's attack enemies, attack and defense, minus 25%. And links are identical, and so are the stats. So basically, he just has a straight up better um, super attack and a straight up better passive than the JP version. Or sorry, I I'm getting confused with the two versions going back and forth. Uh, he has better super attack and better passive skill mechanics on JP than global. Not a huge difference. I don't think anybody really is even running this guy unless you just started the game or something like that. But uh, the difference is definitely there, guys. The difference is definitely there. And I believe the last unit we're going to talk about in today's video is actually a free-to-play unit. It's the Int Super Saiyan Angel Goku. And uh, the global version is, once again, significantly worse than the JP version. I'm not really sure why, oh actually, I mean, once again, I think it might be the release date thing, but I still don't understand why they can't just buff the global version to be in line with the JP version when it releases later. But I mean, it's not up to me, right? So leader skill, all types, HP and attack plus 30% on global on JP. It's STR types, key plus two. Oh. Actually, one thing I didn't notice until now is that he's int type on JP or global and then uh, STR type on JP. So uh, STR types keep plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Now, you could argue that, you know, all types is better than just STR types, but what what is this buff? Like it's HP and attack plus 30% with no key. Like who's ever going to use that, right? So you can't really say he is a rainbow leader. He's just kind of a nothing leader. Whereas at least for this guy, I mean, that is not a good leader skill, but a usable leader skill, right? And then for the super attack, it's extreme damage and raises attack for three turns. Whereas on JP, it's supreme damage, no attack raise, but um, supreme damage is just straight up a better multiplier than extreme, right? And then for passive, high chance of attack or high chance of key plus two and attack plus 80% for JP. Key plus 4 at the start of the turn and great chance of attack plus 80% and defense plus 40%. So great chance is a 70% chance, a high chance is a 50% chance, and also this is for key plus 2 and attack plus 80%. For JP, the key plus 4 is, is unconditional and then he has a higher chance of getting 80% attack and also 40% defense. Uh, links are the same, they should be at least. I think they are. Wait, are they? Yes, they are. Okay, so same links. Uh, stats should differ a little bit because of the different typings. Um, whoa. Actually, on global, he has 11,415 attack compared to 9,655 attack. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I'm actually not so sure about this one anymore. You know what, guys? I I think I might be changing my stance on this unit specifically um, as I'm making this video. See, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not so sure anymore. That is a big difference in the attack stat, guys, of 9.6k 9 versus 11k. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to do a comparison, like a showcase comparison or something like that for these two units to see which one actually works out. I mean, I gotta say, like, I, I think with the 50% the chance compared to the 70% chance for the buff and also the better multiplier, this guy probably still is better, but it's closer than I thought. It's closer than I thought. I think this one's a bit of a toss-up too, just like the STR PyCon versus the Int PyCon. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this guy too. Which PyCon do you think is better and also which of these free-to-play Angel Super Saiyan Gokus do you think is better? Those two, I'm a little bit unsure about at the moment, but I am 100% sure that this um, King Cold is better on JP, this uh, Cell is better on JP, this Frieza is better on JP, this Kaioken Goku is better on JP, and this PyCon is a bit of a toss up. So uh, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. I think this is something that a lot of people don't know as far as the differences between the two versions for certain units. And uh, there are actually a lot of units on this list. There are 29, but for most of them, it's only a difference in Awakening Medals. So I didn't think that was super interesting. Um, that's why I didn't cover them. For example, like this uh, Super Saiyan uh, God Goku here, the AGL one. Um, the only difference between the global and JP versions is that he requires an extra 
Kai Metal, an extra Elder Kai Metal on the JP version to Awaken, which I guess you could consider a bit of a JP shaft, but I don't really think it matters that much. And also the uh, Ace Up the Sleeve Piccolo requires, let's see, he requires an extra Bubbles Metal on the Global version to Awaken, which I guess you could consider a global shaft, but once again, I don't think it really matters that much, so that's why I didn't talk about a lot of those units on the list, but the ones I did cover are the ones that have the uh, major differences. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below once again what you think about all this stuff. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcomedia, signing out.